what is up and welcome back everybody potato slayer 3 here back in our home brewery now this episode i'm hoping that we get done with all of the jobs that are needed for jeff here it's only got um three more left and i'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing over and over again so i want to get his story out of the way and see what we start unlocking after we finish a few more of these or maybe all of jeff's storyline also uh right now all of our display bottles are just kind of sitting on a shelf over there or on a counter over there so i figured we'd move them into uh their own little area here inside of our living room so they're a little bit more on display and they're also not getting in the way when we're working on our brews over here last episode we did um the beer detect here now we have a game of foams and i'm not sure how much of the next jobs i'll include in this video just because it's going to be a little repetitive and i want to see what comes after jeff here so i'm going to get brewing on game of foams i'll come back to you guys when that's finished and we'll see what jeff has to offer and another successfully completed job now unfortunately i didn't get the apv because i did let a good amount spill over when i was brewing um my blonde ale here but that's all right submit that one and move on to the next season and see what our friend Jeff has for us. And into the next season, Jeff has us doing another set of jobs here. Now this one is actually for a brewery here. So it looks like we're starting to get into the progress of breweries. Now it looks like we're just trying to brew for them right now. And later on, we'll, um, we'll actually get some earnings from them. And I'm not sure what we'll get from them, but it looks like we have to do some certain things for them and gain a reputation with them. So we're gonna get, uh, looks like 10 rep from that and then this is uh, sensational citrus again which i believe is the one that we failed a couple episodes ago uh good thing that we got a round two on that one so i think i'm gonna skip through these ones for now and then get back to you guys once i finish the palin comparison for our friends at the home and hearth brewery and our beer for the brewery is complete and we almost matched our recipe exactly the 94 percent one of our best yet so we'll put that as the name the best yet submit that to them and we even got the bonus requirements we got 10 extra re reputation now the reputation points are for uh for unlocking rewards and eventually be getting getting a commercial slot with the brewery so that's great i wonder if that'll just be like passive money at some point and we got a nice little magnet for our fridge and 65 beer tokens now we do have uh, a friend status with them now so i don't know if that'll do anything for us yet or if it's just that magnet that we got from them so we'll add our new beer to the display here can't really read the names from there but if you get real close you can see them and then i already finished the other job and i'm not sure what i did wrong with the first time that i did it but i got those citrus notes inside of there so now we just have to move on to the next season and for the objective for this season we had to use a cooling tool which I had to uh, purchase this immersion coil. And all that does is you put the coil into the brewing pot and then you hook up the intake and the outtake to the sink and it just runs cold water into the uh, into the uh, into the wart and gets it to uh, the temperature that we're looking for. Looks like we got a lot of new stuff coming up into this season here. We have a competition mode, two new jobs for the home and hearth brewery and we get a rake for completing one of them. So um, I'm not sure where we use a rake in our brewing process, but that'll be interesting to learn. And we unlocked Rosa here in our story mode so we can get going on her story. And also Jeff here, once we get to mastery level for our brewing experience, we get an antique brewing kettle, which is large. And it looks like it is going to be quite large. I'm interested to see where we're gonna put that in our home brewery here as we are already running low on space with just doing one beer at a time. So it looks like this competition is something we should definitely be looking at going forward here because we do get four mastery points, which is a lot. As if we look at our overview here, we need four more to get to connoisseur. And I'm not sure what's after connoisseur, or if it gets to us, gets us to the mastery level or if we have to do another level after that. So it is going to be increasing and getting four for doing first would be great. Now that is assuming that we can get first. Um, we have had some interesting results in the past past now it does give us some preferences for the judges here so that's nice to know we can make sure that we get those in our recipe to get a better chance at winning now i think this is going to be a great place to end off this episode since we've almost finished off the story for jeff and we're just getting into rosa here so if you like this kind of content and you want to see us get into rosa's story and get into our first competition make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one